What's up everybody and welcome to Northeast Preparedness. I've got another gear review for you today and it's not a pack or an organizer pouch, so stay tuned. What is going on and welcome to another Northeast Preparedness Review. Today I'm going to take a look at the SOL Scout Survival Kit. Just a quick disclaimer, I am not endorsed by the makers of any of the items I review on this channel. Everything is bought and paid for out of my own pocket. SOL or Survive Outdoors Longer makes a variety of budget friendly survival products. This kit is no exception, coming in at only $25. But is it really a true survival kit? A decent kit should have all five C's of survivability, cutting, combustion, cover, container, and cordage. A minimal kit should have at least three, cover, combustion, and container. Let's take a look at how this holds up. The first thing you're gonna notice is that this whole kit is housed inside a dry bag. The back is made out of a canvas material and the front out of clear PVC. The bag itself measures about six and a half inches tall and about four inches wide. Overall, I'd say it feels pretty durable, but let's take a look at what's inside. So here's all the contents of the survival kit. It comes with one of SOL's one person Mylar survival blankets. I've used these in the past and these things hold up very well. It comes with a small fishing and sewing kit. It has a needle for sewing, a couple of safety pins, some hooks, some snap swivels, some split shot sinkers, and some fishing line. It also comes with a package of four tinder quicks. I've used these in the past. They take a spark really well and they definitely burn long enough for you to get a fire going. Comes with a small sparker. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, but definitely enough to get the tinder quicks going. Comes with a small liquid filled compass. I did check this with my other compass earlier and it seems to work just fine. It doesn't stick and turns pretty smoothly. Roll of duct tape. I'm not exactly sure how much they put on here. I'm guessing probably 10 to 12 feet and it's wrapped around a straw. Small signaling mirror. And a whistle. So this is the contents of the SOL Scout Survival Kit. So does this survival kit cover all five C's? No, but it does cover four of them. You have your combustion with the sparker and the tinder quicks. You have your cover with the mylar blanket. You have cordage with the duct tape and the fishing line included in the fishing kit. And in a pinch, the dry bag could be used as a container. Having said that, there are a few things that I would definitely add to this kit to make it a little bit better. I would definitely add a small knife or a multi-tool, depending on your preference. Some water purification tablets. And a container to use with the water purification tablets. In this case, I'm just using a one gallon Ziploc bag. There are other alternatives, but this is what I have on hand at the moment and it'll work just fine. So even with these new additions, this whole kit should still pack up nicely inside this dry bag. As you can see, even with the new items, everything packed up in here just fine. So given its price point of only $25, its small size, and the actual contents that come in the bag, I would definitely recommend this to anyone that just needs a small survival kit to throw in their backpack in case of emergencies. When you add the extra items I talked about, it makes it much more versatile and could actually get you through a day or two if you were in a pinch. So I hope you found today's gear review interesting or informative. If you did, please hit the like button. If you didn't, go ahead and hit that dislike button. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. We're almost at 500 subscribers, and when I hit that milestone, I'll be giving away a $25 gift card. So make sure you check out our future videos for more details on that. That said, thanks for checking out my video, and I'll see you in the next one.